What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Breland. My battery's about to die already. Anyway, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Read the wow, that was so rude. But anyway, uh, ring the bell that way you don't miss a notification for me and follow me on social media at Breland.hunt. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Tuesday. I actually just finished up my work day. Yes, y'all, I was actually working today. Can you believe it? <laughs> I know that y'all are probably laughing at me because I don't show myself working all the time. But like I said, it's normally just kind of boring. I'm either just writing or I'm in a meeting. And today I did both. Um, luckily, I had an update meeting with my director and she gave me the... Oh, can I see you guys here? No, I don't think so. Come on. Let me try to find... Yes! I'm just washing my makeup sponge right now. I probably had crumbs all over my mouth. I just ate a quick little salad because I'm about to head to Bible study. And I'm super excited because Glory, you guys know my work bestie, she is going to come to Truth City for the first time and experience our Bible study. And then we're gonna go to dinner afterwards. So I thought I would go ahead and start off the vlog. I'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup. I'm a little bit nervous though, because even my director was talking about how bad it's raining today. Like it is, this is the definition of raining cats and dogs outside. I can't tell too much, you know, when you're in an apartment and you're high up. Like, of course there's rain on the windows, but she said it's like really windy outside. And while we were on our call, she had to like go outside because her recycling bin fell over. So I don't know how bad it is, but they haven't canceled Bible study. So I'm gonna go and uh, we pray for safe travels. That Bible study is indeed canceled because of the weather. You can see that I was halfway through doing my makeup and I'm so sad because I really wanted to see Glory. But we rescheduled for after church on Sunday. I haven't decided if I'm gonna wear this outfit on Sunday or not, but I also got foundation on my pants. So, and also what's annoying is that I wore this outfit literally all day with my robe on. I was planning on wearing this jacket that I wore to the Rod Gate Oh, this is perfect to wear to a Bible study because you know it's casual or whatever. I was just looking for another reason to wear this, and I was gonna wear it the exact same way that I wore the other one, except for with like booty heels. And I have to wear this on Sunday as well if I want to. I try to be a little bit more dressy, but I definitely don't have to be. I could also think of another way to style this, which I normally do when I wear like the same pieces, but also if it gives it gives, I could do like a, a monochromatic look. Look, <laughs> now my mind is going. Um, which I like to do and I could do like this underneath this like that looks fire but this is a crop top though um anywho I don't know we'll think about it but in the meantime I'm about to eat dinner <laughs> because I'm hungry and I was waiting for that we were gonna get ramen afterwards but now we're gonna eat that on Sunday I will say though that it's officially Miss America week so they have already been checked in and I've been keeping up with their interview outfits and all the things but today is the teen preliminary competition and I normally don't keep up with the teams like that but you guys know my little sister Rachel is Miss Maryland's teen so I'm gonna watch the preliminary competition eat dinner and then probably read some of my book which I just started yesterday before that comes on and like 12 minutes I'm about to take this makeup off because it already wasn't even starting off well like I don't know what it was like now it kind of looks okay as it's sitting in my face but when I was doing it I was like something's not looking right like it was giving let's take this whole thing off and I'm having a lot of hormonal breakouts in my chin which I don't know what's up with that I don't appreciate that but taking this makeup off will definitely help it so good morning Hey guys, so I am headed to the gym. I started my day off late this morning, which I'm not happy about, but it's okay. We still gonna get a sweat in. Today, our gym fit is Gym Shark, actually. I feel like I don't wear this set as much as I need to, but I love this little two-piece set because it comes with the top. I've been waiting for my new waist trainer to come in. I bought one from What Waist? This is the workout that I'm doing today. It is 40 minutes all sitting workout by my girl, Growing Anna's. So I'll talk to you guys after my workout. Do you get a sweat in this morning? If not, get your butt to the gym right now. We've got goals this new year. y'all 
y'all so i'm back from the gym and oh let me tell you today's workout was something serious okay if y'all want a really good workout that i think it was what was it 40 minutes standing by growing i couldn't even finish the workout and i rarely but i was like i was so out of breath i was so tired i was like is this thing over yet like when is it gonna be over i literally was like okay you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and i think that i've, I've sweat enough for today i think i've done enough I'm gonna get on this Stairmaster and call it a day, right? And then I'm like ravening. My morning routine, I like to work out, come back and get straight into the shower and then eat and then start working. But lately I've been like so hungry when I'm leaving the gym that I'm like, I'm gonna eat first and then shower. So mind you, while I'm on the Stairmaster, is my ponytail down? I'm looking a little ball. <laughs> while I'm on the Stairmaster, I started this podcast. You guys know how I love McKenna Walker. Uh, she's like a vlogger or whatever. She does lifestyle and self-care. And, oh, what's that noise? My eggs over here cooking. Um, and basically, she started a podcast. Now, mind you guys, she has like hour-long videos, like two to three. Well, like an hour to two-hour vlogs, and I'm very behind on her stuff. I purposefully like watch her stuff when I just want company and so I haven't been watching her stuff um well I've been watching it but I'm just not up to date so with that being said I knew that there was some stuff going on but I didn't really know what was going on but I mind my business when it comes to uh influencers or whatever like you show me what you show me I'll enjoy that I don't have opinions on other people's lives um because I don't want people to have opinions on my lives. Like, you just want to get on and it be your safe space and you share or whatever. Like, I don't care what's going on with you. If you want to show me your Target haul, girl, I'm going to watch your Target haul. I'm going to love you for that. So she started a podcast with her baby daddy. And child the tea so i'm over here like so into this podcast i was listening to it on the stairmaster i was stretching i came back in I'm listening to it while i'm doing my breakfast child why did i find you guys and i feel like nobody else does this i make my bacon in the microwave why does nobody else make their bacon in the microwave i don't know i love it comment down below if you make your bacon in the microwave as well i don't even know where you get these from i totally sold this from my mom's house you put this in the microwave for two minutes and then you can drip out the oil the oil the grease you can drip out the grease and it's faster and you can multitask and whatever so here i am making my normal you know breakfast with these uh spinach herb wraps but i also have some that are whole wheat i'm so engulfed in this podcast that i put my wraps in the microwave thinking that it was my bacon and i put it in for two minutes and now my wraps are <laughs> a hot mess but thankfully i have another pack here and i don't mind opening them in the Oh, what? I don't mind opening them up because I'm just trying to eat everything that I can before my fast starts. I don't know about you guys, but my church is doing the Daniel's fast. I'm just trying to both mentally and like physically prepare myself. And so I'm eating all the bread, the bacon, the eggs. Like I think I could also last a long time if I could do eggs. I just found out that you could do potatoes on the Daniel's fast because technically potatoes are a vegetable. Didn't know that. I just decided to check back in with you guys and let you know that that just happened because I was so engulfed in this podcast and I was like, wait a minute, why is my bacon right here? Isn't it still going on in the microwave? And I, was, and I said, oh, dang it. And by the way, I ended up getting a Celsius pack, a variety pack that has a whole bunch of different flavors. So I'm actually stepping out of my comfort zone and drinking different Celsius flavors. And I was doing really good as well with not drinking a Celsius most days because I just was like, it's giving crackhead energy. You guys know how I feel. I love them, but I don't think that it's necessary to eat one every single day. Eat one, drink one every single day. Child, now my bacon is burnt. What is going on with the microwave? I put it on for two minutes. I always put my bacon on for two minutes. What is going on? Why is, wait, wait a minute. Okay, let me make sure I'm putting this on. For, I don't, I'm gonna put it on for 20 seconds, just to make sure, because maybe my microwave is already warmed up, but I don't know what's going on. Especially when I'm like sitting at home and I'm virtually doing work. But if you guys saw my last vlog, I was having a really hard time being not necessarily motivated, but I guess, yes, both motivated and like just productive. So I just had to be real with myself. And I know that when I'm caffeinated, I'm motivated. And I also have like my whole personality when I have caffeine. Once again, we're not able to have caffeine on the Daniels fast, but we'll worry about that problem when we get there. For now, I was like, I've got to get on my Zoom and I've got to drink this caffeine so I can continue to be productive. I just hate how avocados look 
Like, why can they not last the second day? I know they said that you're not supposed to eat avocados when they look like this, but to me, I think I'm gonna open another one. I have enough. Can you guys tell me, A, if you know a better way of preserving avocados? Of course, I have this avocado holder, but again, in just one day, when I open it up, the avocado will be brown. And B, is it okay to eat an avocado when it's browned or is it true that that's like unhealthy to eat it that way? Sometimes I eat it, sometimes I scrape it off because it's kind of like when you leave a banana in a dark place and it'll like obviously get brown really fast, but the banana didn't go bad. You know, it's not like you'll get sick from eating the banana that way. Like some people really like their bananas soft and sweet and when they're brown like that. So comment down below and let me know, is it okay to eat your avocados when they get brown like that? Or is that technically, cause ooh, avocado avocados do get moldy y'all know how i am about mold okay we're not gonna talk about it anymore but let me know down below i've been yelling since i had these headphones in are y'all checking with me because i have flipped to five different topics in the last three minutes i think what i was trying to say was that oh yeah for the daniel's fast i won't be able to uh drink caffeine or consume caffeine so we'll see how that goes Ooh, this avocado is perfect I think I was basically trying to tell you guys that I don't like this flavor. <laughs> I'm trying the different flavors and the Arctic Vibe Sparkling Frozen Berry. When I see blue, I thought it was going to taste kind of like the blue Gatorade. Also, if you don't know, I'm the type of person where my favorite flavor drink is red. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, no, not strawberry, not fruit punch, like red, whatever red is. That I like the artificial red flavor. That's my favorite. And so when I see blue, I think about my favorite artificial blue flavor, which is kind of like a blue slushy. So that doesn't taste bad. Like I'm gonna drink it and I'm gonna finish it because I don't waste things. But it's like, it doesn't taste like blue. And I just feel like with all this blue packaging, it's misleading. It still tastes good, but it tastes like a white berry. I don't know what a white berry is. I'm sure there isn't one, but that's what it kind of tastes like to me. Anyway, that's my morning ramble. Um, it was a great workout, but a pretty hard one today. Whew, so I'm going to fill myself up with my dishes, take a shower, and then start working. I think that's it. I'll call y'all back later. Hey y'all, it is much later. It's about to be community time and I'm so nervous and excited. So um, as you guys can see, did I talk about this today? I don't think so, but today is the Miss America preliminary competition. So I, for a long time, have been wanting to increase my Beauty and Brains community time to have just streaming aspects to it. So I said, okay, you know what? Today's the day. I'm gonna set up live streaming. That way I can live stream. Oh, sorry, y'all can't even see me. Um, but yeah, the goal is to be able to live stream the pageant while also on YouTube. I think in general, this will just be more exciting for you guys because I'll be able like, to put your comment on the screen and you know, just do some fun things. Like right now it's very, FaceTime vibes, which we also love, but of course it'll also be really nice to just upgrade the experience a little bit. So if you haven't been able to tune in for community time yet, I definitely recommend it because I'm putting in the work, girl, to try and just make this as fun and entertaining as possible in addition to it just being, again, that safe space and community for all of us to gather. This is just the beginning. I've been needing to do this for a very long time because there's even just like different segments to community time that I haven't been able to do because I haven't had the streaming service set up. So now that I have it set up, we can continue to upgrade community time. So today is gonna be my first time trying it. I hope it goes well. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that. I just set everything up. Oh my gosh, I'm like getting nervous. And I don't know if I'm gonna do the whole stream on YouTube because yesterday I watched the prelim and for teens and it was literally three hours long so I just may do half of it on YouTube and the other half on Instagram and if it goes well I may do another live you guys will know this by now because you're in the future but I may do another live on Sunday it won't be community time, but again, it'll still be the same vibe. That way I can watch the live competition with you guys and it'll give me another way to practice my streaming. Take you guys off of this tripod and put you on here and I will talk to you after community time, the first live with all the different gadgets and stuff like that. Let's hope it goes well. Empowering others to 
others to embrace their identity, you, be fearless, and shatter stigmas. Okay, y'all, so the live went great. I was able to do the stream exactly how I wanted to, and everybody was really, really sweet about it. So if you were on that live, thank you so much for being there. And I'm excited because I'm also, I just decided that I'm gonna go live on Sunday as well when the uh, national final competition goes. So if you are not subscribed to the channel and you didn't watch the live, so you didn't know that I was gonna go live on Sunday or whatever, like make sure you are subscribed because you know, we do cool things over here, but I just have to figure out how to fix the sound. But I think for literally teaching myself how to do the whole thing and setting it up in one day, I think I did a really good job. So that's my dinner that I'm about to eat. And it's literally like 10 o'clock now because that was the longest preliminary ever. And let me just say, I'm super excited because A, Maryland Kennedy won two prelims. I don't know the last time Maryland has won a prelim. I think probably in 2012. So to be a double prelim winner is a really good sign. She's the only double prelim winner for the Miss. And I'm curious to see the talents tomorrow. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is like the longest week ever, like having to watch all the prelims. By the time you get to the finals though, you okay know who's gonna win. Anyway, um, but for the evening gowns, all three evening gown preliminary winners are black women. Uh, it was Texas, Maryland, and Alabama eight down they were gorgeous it was amazing um so i'm really excited to see and i'm also interested to see like once the talents happen tomorrow how that like kind of changes the atmosphere and also it's really interesting is there's a different set of judges for the talent competition so you won't know that certain people were preliminary winners or like if you, if you were my favorite for fitness I can't like score you higher because your dance is good because i know that you like it's completely different so Oh, y'all, it's hard keeping up with these organizations. I'm just trying to do my homework. But we had a lot of girly pop fun tonight. So again, thanks for joining. And I have no idea what I'm going to wear tomorrow. But I know I have to wake up early to go to work in the office. Yeah, y'all, I'm tired. I'm going to eat this dinner. And I'll talk to you guys in the morning time when I'm on my way to work. Good morning, y'all. I'm so upset. I had this outfit in mind, right? So cute. But these pants... I don't know if y'all can tell they do not fit. And I think I've never worn them before. If so, I've worn them one time. Sorry, I have like my blinds down. It, it's just like pitch black here. Okay. This is the only place that I have a mirror on. The only place that I have a light on right now. But I could definitely like walk around in them. The problem is I can't ride my bike in them. This also is not flattering. But you know when you just have an idea in your mind and I just knew, I was like, oh my gosh, you guys know how I feel about my monochromatic looks. I was like, oh my gosh, this would eat down. This is so cute. <sighs> so I'm just going to have to pair this top with a different pants. But even just like brown or black is not going to hit the same. It's the way that this has the maroon in it. Oh, I was going to eat you girls up, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I have to be able to at least ride my bike. So I think I might as well just go ahead and get rid of these pants because... I see them in my closet and I come up with outfits for them and I don't know if it's, I swear I've worn these pants before though. I do remember them always being tight but being able to fit them. I don't know if it's because now I'm thinking, okay girl, you have to ride your bike in these and I'm like, I will literally, I will probably bust this seam. I don't know if it's because of that or if it's just because I've been in the gym, okay? And so my legs are really looking real strong, who knows? <laughs> Either way, I can't wear these pants. <laughs> I found another pair of pants. I'm not going to lie. They're also way too tight. This is kind of giving me an excuse to go shopping, but we'll relax. And I'm really proud of myself. I woke up early enough for me to make breakfast and sit down and eat. Anyway, I'm running my mouth. I have to go. Putting on my cute little headphones. Headphones. Earmuffs. <laughs> so cute. I actually think I may be hot when I bike. <sighs> Y'all, the biking drama in this apartment is so lame so lame but alas we're gonna stay above the fray let's bike to work
y'all <laughs> that's all i can say i fell asleep on the couch last night when i got home i literally made myself a quick little dinner and then i was watching the miss america's got talent teen and miss competition i fell asleep i was reading my book uh, and it wasn't a good sleep like normally when I fall asleep on the couch like it's great but last night it really wasn't so I got up and I'm starting to get ready to go to the gym but you can see even though I'm dressed for the gym I'm laying on on the couch again I just really don't want to go it's one of those days where you don't want to go um I'm trying to convince myself like maybe I can get myself breakfast if I go Y'all you know I love that egg crackery place. But then I'm also like, maybe I should just like walk to the egg crackery place. And that can be my workout for the day. You know, get outside, get some vitamin D. Or I could just do the Stairmaster today. So maybe instead of 15 minutes, I just do 30. Then I walk. Uh, there's this whole situation going on with my bike right now, which is like really annoying me with my apartment. But basically, they are redoing the flooring in the bike storage area. So I had to like move my bike while they're fixing it. And so I parked my bike outside and it kind of just has me just a little bit, not anxious, but I'm just hoping my bike is okay since it's not like in a secured location. I have a bike lock on it, but it's outside. Thankfully, the weather is great today, but like the place is going to be under construction for like a week and it's about to snow next week and all types of things so child i am hungry <laughs> i am hungry so i can only do but a little workout because i'm gonna be ravenous when i'm done these are the moments where you have to decide to be disciplined when you're not motivated and you're not determined we'll see what decision i make y'all i'm up i didn't know if i was gonna do it or not but i decided that i'm gonna do this 25 minute cardio and strength workout and i have my lit god playlist ready and i'm gonna do 15 minutes on the stairmaster and then we're calling it a day i realized that a lot of times i actually end up doing three workout days instead of four because i will skip fridays or wednesday but we did wednesday now if we do friday we can be one week down actually working out four days a week i'll leave you guys here but i'll be right back and I'm back. I have made up my mind. I'm gonna go ride my bike and get breakfast. So come along with me. Back with my food. That ride was so smooth and easy. Like literally I need to start doing that more often because for me to pay, I don't know how much I pay for delivery, but this costs like $12 and when I get it on Uber Eats, first of all, I'm more tempted to get more things. Second of all, I feel like it costs twice as much because of the delivery stuff. Let me just go ahead and get it on my own. I'm trying to eat everything that like I could possibly have a craving for because I know that I'm about to be fasting for the next three weeks. That's not how you're supposed to do it at all, but my flesh is weak, okay? So I love these little... That is so good. It's like a warm hug. So I'm going to eat this, watch some YouTube videos, take my shower and stuff. And I think I need to get out the house today. I need to run some errands. I have just been like, I just feel super lazy. I high key need some caffeine today. Same thing. I'm going to be able to have caffeine on this fast. Eat this and get ready. That way we can leave the house and be productive. Did I take a nap? Yes. But that's my business. <laughs> I'm up now. I literally was just so tired between not having any caffeine before going to the gym and then eating that heavy breakfast child i was out for the count but i'm showered and about to do my makeup just a quick little something to put on my face oh <coughs> can't lie to y'all mm -mm -mm. i don't know if you guys can tell but i literally have the blinds down i literally have all my blinds down i don't want nobody looking at me i don't want to look at nobody <laughs> Uh, actually, I low-key didn't even want to put on makeup today because I have to put on makeup Saturday and on Sunday. You know, sometimes you just want to break, like, ugh. But I'm here now. I'm sitting down. I might as well do it. Mind you, I'm trying to wear this outfit that I wanted to wear to Bible study that I just thought was so cute, child, but I wasn't able to wear it. And the problem is that I wore the bodysuit and the jeans all evening, got food on it, 
they it's like i wore them but now i'm wearing a makeshift so hopefully the outfit still hits with this top because it's not the original top that i wanted to wear with it but i'm just trying to wear this jacket anyway let me get ready i'll call y'all back alexa pause y'all will not believe this i literally was like you know let me put a little bit of foundation i'm gonna put on this uh Too faced born this way foundation because honestly i've had this for years it's probably expired but i was like let me just get rid of it you know it's a very like light dewy whatever whatever normally i get my brush and i go like this and then i go like this but when i'm just doing a little bit i'm just gonna do like this why did the whole thing spill not only on my jeans my second only black jeans again Oh, so I'm not supposed to wear this outfit. So I'm not supposed to wear this outfit because I wish that y'all could see the stain. No, I did not. And then it's on my chair. It's on my white fluffy chair. Let me get this shout. Hold on. Oh my gosh. And this is why I be so excessive because I'm over here like, dang, I really don't have another pair of black. No, because you only need two pairs. Of black pants like right you don't need three pairs of black jegging jeans whatever oh you know what? I think I do have one more pair that are more like a jegging style oh my gosh I think I just ruined this chair oh no um it's all brown oh. Why? 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 By the way, if y'all don't have this right here, the shout triple acting, clings, penetrates, and lifts. <laughs> anyway, I use this on my couch all the time. Like moments like last night when I fall asleep on the couch and I have makeup on. If I even like have not washed my hands when I get home and I have like makeup on my hands, like every, it, the couch stains so quickly. <clears throat> wow, that's crazy. It like penetrated this daggone thing. I don't, okay, whatever. At this point, whatever. Let me see the shout. Oh, I can get the shout out my pants too. Let's see, can I redeem myself? Why is this foundation like foolproof? Like, no, it's literally not coming out. What are we talking about? What is actually happening? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna wear a different pair of pants. If I even end up wearing that stupid jacket. I just want to wear my jacket. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. That just made me so upset. Am I going to have to start doing my makeup and then getting dressed? Comment down below what order you guys get ready. Personally for me, this never happens. Except for it just happened two times in a row. But usually it never happens for me. And I wear a lot of things that are like tight up top, you know? And so if I would have like done my whole face and then put this top on, I would have gotten makeup all over the top. And yeah, I know that you can do the trick with the bonnet and sometimes I do that. But if I know what I'm going to wear, I never spill makeup on myself. Like what are we talking about? I've been doing this for years. Oh. And like two times back to back, what's up with that? It's very much so giving God doesn't want me to wear either this, is it the jacket? But the jacket is fire. <laughs> like is it the jacket? Or is it the whole outfit together? Child, or is it these pants? Is it me? Am I spiritualizing it? <laughs> is it like not that deep? Like no Breland, you're just literally being a klutz. That's possible too. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm hurt. What do you got against me in these black jeans? Apparently I wasn't supposed to wear the jacket. No problem. I forgot about this jacket that I have, which is similar. Um, you can see I changed my top as well. Just putting on some earrings. Decided to wear. I'm trying to, well, I'm not trying to get rid of this, but I really want to get the, well, I don't want to really, I don't really want to get nothing. I want to get nothing, <laughs> but <laughs> calm down for you. The YSL Libre, they have an intense version. You guys know I'm really in my intense era. By the way, this is what my new perfume thing looks like in the daytime so pretty anyway this is the vibe this is what we're gonna do i am gonna put some booties on with this because i feel like it looks the best kind of like keep it all black at the bottom child i don't even care no more the thing is i wanted to wear a jacket so i could wear long sleeves so i didn't have to wear a coat but it's so cold outside like it's the time of the year where it's like no i need to wear a coat <laughs> so I'm doing all of this. Maybe I'll bring a coat with me, but oh, I really just didn't want to put a coat on. I wanted to just kind of run around, do my cute little errands. My braids are so puffy. I'm over them. But all right, this is the final look. 
can't believe I'm wearing a crop top. Who am I? <laughs> okay. This is the look. I'm heading out. I almost forgot bag. By the way, this is the jacket if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. I think I'm going to carry this bag from Aldo. I think this will match. Yeah, right? That's cute. That's cute. Okay. Okay. I'm in the car. I'm on my way. <laughs> oh, y'all. If you... Why was it so hard for me to leave the house today? I have no idea. Oh, wow. Probably because I don't leave the house enough. So this was too much. I decided that I really need to get out the house to do some work. So I am gonna go to a Barnes Child. This camera better stay still. I'm about to go to a Barnes and Noble, do some work, maybe edit the video that needs to go live this weekend. All the things. Saturday. This is like literally a pageant diaries vlog because we have a really fun pageant. Uh, we have a lot of fun pageant things going on. Earlier this week, we were watching the Miss America prelims. Again, if you guys want to watch me watch that live with you all for the community time, I will have that link in the description box down below, or you can check out the community playlist. Today, I'm actually going to judge the Miss Black Maryland USA pageant. I'm super excited because my friend is the new director for the pageant, and he asked me to be the judge. Hey, judge at that, period, big period. <laughs> and if you guys didn't know, I actually started off my pageant journey in the Miss Black USA system. I was recruited to be Miss Black Atlanta USA, and I competed at Miss Black Georgia USA in 2017 that was like my first pageant diaries vlog so that was my first pageant that I competed in so I'm excited to be back as a judge and I am excited to see like how this system has grown in the past couple of years because again when I did it I'm not gonna lie it was a hot mess well it wasn't a hot mess but I was a hot mess because it was my first time doing pageantry and pageantry can either be really really organized or like a chaotic mess and when you also don't have yourself together it's like a deadly combo i'm gonna answer a frequently asked question here about how do you get started in pageants or how do you find out like what pageant system is best for you and i definitely say the two best answers for that are to do your research and to reach out to people who are currently involved in the organization so i got started into pageantry even though i knew i wanted to for a long time because i was recruited but that rarely happens like honestly people don't reach out directors don't reach out because it can kind of seem like favoritism but it was a not a new system but I think it was like a new director and she really wanted like new people to compete and so that's why she reached out to a lot of people but if she didn't reach out to me who knows if I would be here today as a person who's done I don't even know somebody asked me one of my co-fellows asked me the other day how many pageants I've been in and I was like well I don't really know I know I've only done four state pageants five of you count Miss Georgia USA and uh, but the amount of locals that I've had to do to get there are numerous like some years I've done one some years I've done literally four so it's probably around the number of 10, uh, 10 pageants, which is pretty cool. I'll count it out though before the end of the day and I'll let you guys know. But yeah, if you guys are interested, definitely do your research because for me, I knew what I wanted out of pageantry. And so I should have been able to look at the different options and find a good fit for me. But instead I just went with the people who approached me and that's not always going to work out. I still had a great time. I still had a lot of fun. Like I still enjoyed my experience for sure, but I'm glad that next year I did my research. I was like, why do I want to do pageantry? What do I want to get out of it? What organization best aligns with me and what I want to achieve and things like that? And that's how I ended up in the Miss America organization. Now, again, how you get started, because a lot of people are not going to approach you for it. A, you can Google it, find their social media or go on their website. They will normally have like become a contestant or something like that type of page and slash or you can reach out to somebody who has recently competed, whether it be the current queen. So like, for example, if you wanted to be Miss America 
DC, you could reach out to Miss America DC on Instagram and message her and say, hey, I wanna be Miss America DC one day. How can I get started? Sometimes they may have like their email and their bio, or you can also send an email on the website because they will normally have like a contact us page. And that's if they don't have something that already says like, if you wanna be a contestant, like this is how you get started. And don't be afraid. Normally when you click the button of like how to become a contestant, you don't already have to like have your dress, have your platform ready, like have $3,000 pageants don't always cost three thousand dollars by the way um you don't have to have that ready like sometimes it literally can just be a call or you like asking questions so don't be afraid to if you feel like i'm not ready to get started i just have questions you can let them know that you just have questions and i mean we have to have new people come in like we don't want the same old people competing year after year after year like obviously it's something that people stay involved in for years until they you know win and even so they come back and they volunteer but you have to have new people join as well so no Nobody will treat you weird or different because it's your first year competing they will actually really take care of you so that's my little spiel and my high horse of the day I'm actually so surprised that I'm even wanting to talk this is the first time I've talked today because it is 7 a.m. y'all I'm not used to waking up early even though I wake up I don't know I was just really in a rush because I got back late and I didn't pack my bag and prepare for today so I am running late but it's okay everything's okay we're gonna get there safely um, it's gonna be a long full day judging the interviews and it's black usa is really fun because they have a talent portion to their competition and it's actually really exciting for me as a current competitor if you guys don't know i'm competing for miss dc next year as miss navy yard and it's really nice for me to see as a competitor kind of like the experience of a judge like what does it look like when a person has a really good interview but they're on stage presence is like not as they don't shine as much on stage or how does it feel when first interview wasn't good but their talent is amazing like how do you end up choosing your winner like what really is the combination and what are the things that make you like fall in love with the girl that make you ride till dawn i talked about this the last time i judged the pageant which was in arkansas for the miss uh collegiate america miss high school america pageant and that one was really fun as well but it was different because they were little girls this has teen Miss M-I-S-S and Miss M-S. Oh, also, if you're in the DMV area and you're interested in pageantry, definitely check out the Miss Black Maryland, D.C. and Virginia USA pageants because they have a new director. And if you want to get on stage and do some community service, show your talent, this would definitely be the place to do so. I'll talk to you guys later. Clap, clap, clap. It is now time to invite our ladies contestants back onto the stage to begin the top seven announcement. All of these women have worked incredibly hard to get to this day. Can we give them a...
I know I didn't do a great job of vlogging yesterday, but y'all know it's really hard to vlog during pageantry, but especially judging because you, you don't want to show like one particular girl and there's only so many times where everybody's on stage. But the pageant went really, really well. I'm so happy and proud of Daryl. He literally put this whole show together. Like I think I mentioned to you guys, he got the directorship and he put this together in three months and he had a lot of girls with a lot of great talent show up. And you know, it's one thing when it's like, okay, we know like one girl gonna be good. Like we at least gonna get one in every category. If I did mention also there's like a teen an MISS and an MS category so we literally were judging girls from the age range of 14 to I think 40 which is crazy oh my battery's about to die on here darn it um anyway it's Sunday now I'm heading to church I will tell you guys kind of about our plans I guess when I leave church because they kind of changed on us but it's all good we will pivot and still have a great day Okay, y'all, I'm home. Church was really, really great. I am taking off my shoes now and, whew, okay, let's see what we're gonna do for today. So, my fast starts tomorrow. I need to grocery shop, but I think I'm gonna order everything online because I kinda just wanna take a moment and like look at some recipes online and just make sure that I have everything that I need. Like, I don't really feel like roaming around the store. And, you know, like going to all the different aisles. My apartment is I mean, it's not a mess, but I do need to get it together. I literally have five different purses out here and I need to like basically put those all away. I need to edit the vlog. It's like two, is it 3 p.m. now? It's 3 p.m. now. The vlog is not going up today. I decided that I also need to prepare for the Miss America competition that's going live today. I think I told you guys that I decided I was gonna stream. So by the time you're watching this, I streamed it a week and a half ago. So if you wanna watch that, I'll. it's on my channel now. Unless I say something crazy, then it's not on there no more. But I'm gonna try and behave myself. It's probably gonna be from like 7 to maybe 10 p.m., 9.30, 10 p.m. So I kinda wanna have everything settled by that time so I can just chill and focus on that, which means I need to do my laundry. I've also just been living with my blinds down for like the past three days. That's why it's so dark in here, but I don't know. I guess I don't care. Ugh. Oh, this apartment is a mess, honestly. I do really need to clean it. Okay, because the fast starts tomorrow morning, I'm looking forward to my last supper, and I think I'm gonna do pho and sushi. This is so bad of me, but I actually stopped for McDonald's fries on my way home because I just wanted to make sure that I had like all of my cravings out of my system. And the only reason why I'm getting pho is because I told you guys that I was supposed to go to get ramen actually with Glory on Tuesday. And Tuesday was just a hot mess. Like I know I showed you guys it, but it was it was a hot mess because originally I actually signed up to do, go to a dance class. I haven't been dancing recently and I really want to get back into it. And so I scheduled myself a dance class. I was going to go on Tuesday. Then I got the notification from my church that we were having. So yeah, then I got the notification that we were having Bible study. And I was like, oh, well, I guess I can't go to my dance class anymore. And I canceled that. Then Gloria reached out to me and she was like, hey, I really want to meet with you before I start back up at work. Can we, you know, meet and have dinner? And I was like, I would love to, but you know it's bible study and glory's been trying to come to truth for a while so you guys saw we were going to go to bible study and then go get dinner but then both were canceled the rain was so bad cool we decided we were going to rain check for today after church it's a good thing we did it because we definitely said 1 30 and church went way over today so i was going to be late so that would have been good but she would have been understanding sure but unfortunately now she's sick and so she's like we're just gonna have to rain check until sometime later so i'm really sad because i wanted to catch up with my girl glory do you guys see how i have to struggle to put my coats in this thing <sighs> i told you uh, i just I can't even i can't even think about it too much if i think about it too much i'm literally gonna get upset and frazzled so i'm still gonna get ramen because i had it in like you know my taste buds so i still need to get well i personally like pho better than ramen question of the day are you a ramen girl are you a pho girl have you never had either or do you not notice the difference do you even care <laughs> do you even do you carry a lunch box <laughs> only the real ones know about that I just need i just need to get my life together this is the program book There's, are you kidding me oh i need to put some water in my flowers There's so much going on congratulations to the new title holders miss black maryland usa organization this is nice these are all the contestants let me see my page i don't even think about that do i have a page as a judge 
period. Big P. Okay, I like that. This is what I'm most excited about. Even though I already have one to travel with, this is like for jewelry, but I don't have one that's this small, so I'll definitely use this. And it's really cute because it comes with a pen. Tuesday, I'm going to meet with the CEO and president of March of Dimes, and I'm super excited to see how I can partner with them as a fellow with the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation. Oh, this is really nice. Cuticle oil tea. This is great. Come on. I love this. I have one, but not a pen. This is great. It's almost time for me to get my nails done again. I think I have like one more week and then I have to face the fact that I cheated on my nail tech. What I wanted to show you guys were my new orders from Fabletics. Because once again, I went crazy. Does anybody else have a subscription to Fabletics? Or is it just me? <laughs> okay, this is the first set. I wanted another pink outfit. And this one is cute because it has like leopard on the back. I know I literally said that I don't like animal print and yet I keep getting things with animal print. But as Tabitha says, that's my business. I just felt like I don't have any pink ones that I actually like working out in. Like they may be cute, but I actually don't like the way that they feel. If that makes any sense on my body. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Like this actually, I may not like either. Because if I don't get the pants in long, they're actually annoyingly too short. By the way, this is how they match. I don't know, I didn't even think about that. I should have gotten this in long. Cause when they're not long, I really don't like it. Oh, speaking of March of Dimes, I actually got this set because it's purple and I don't have any purple workout sets. I have like a purple jacket, a purple top. I'm saying I don't have any, but, I have this one. but not like workout. And I really just have a whole bunch of blue, which I do like wearing blue, but I realize like, I feel like I wear blue all the time. So I got these purple ones. For you guys, it looks plum. It's, I don't know how to describe it, but this is the power hold set. And I think these are long. I can kind of tell, I think these are long. I really like this. I really like this bra, cause it has like this. So these go together like this. And then I actually got it in a three piece set. I like this material, it's like stretchy and light. So it's actually really good to wear again during this time of the year over top of this. And like when you get hot, you can take this off. So I will wear this Soon. I was saying, speaking of March of Dimes, because I would wear something like this, one of the March of Dimes walks this year, which maybe by the time you guys are watching this video, I've already set up my team for Birth Equity for All. If you guys don't know, I fundraise for March of Dimes through my Women's Health Initiative, Birth Equity for All, because the funds go towards research for the maternal mortality crisis. So if you guys, everybody always asks like how they can be involved with Birth Equity for All, and that is a really great way. I know sometimes it feels like giving money won't be helpful, but literally every single dollar counts, especially if it goes to organizations that are actually putting in the work. And March of Dimes is one of those organizations, which again, is why I'm gonna meet with them on Tuesday because I'm gonna partner with them as a CBCF fellow because we basically have to have um, one organization that we partner with for our social impact initiative project. It's interesting, that's the language that Miss America uses, but this is also the language that the CBCF uses. So I was like, oh, I know exactly what organization I wanna choose. I want to continue working with Marsha Dimes, but now on like an, a more official level as a fellow. And so I have that meeting with them on Tuesday. I'll bring you guys along with me when I go. If you want to know how you can be involved, definitely donate to my Marsha Dimes fundraiser. So I just said I have a lot of blue workout sets. I got another one, but I really like this design. They also have this one in purple and I was tempted to get it too. Um, but I couldn't justify getting two purple sets. But if they have it in stock next month and I don't like anything else new, I may get it. Or I could just chill out because I low-key don't have any space in my drawer. I'm running out of space. But I also feel like I literally work out all the time. And so it's not like I don't wear these things. This one is like really interesting. Again, this is in the 7 eighths, which I don't like. Oh, why do I keep doing this to myself? But look how cute this top is. Quality of athletic stuff is really, really nice. So anyway, that's my little haul. I'm gonna add these things to my workout, these things to my workout drawer, and we'll choose one of them to work out in on Monday. 
if actually that's if I even work out tomorrow because I have I'm gonna be doing community service tomorrow because tomorrow is MLK day so again I'll bring you guys along with me first I'm doing that community work as Breland but as I prepare for Miss DC I'll also be there as like Miss Navy Yard so we can just continue the pageant diary vlog so I'll vlog that as well since this is basically like a pageant diaries vlog literally from every aspect from watching to judging to competing myself and serving and all the things this is literally all the different aspects of pageantry I'm gonna clean this up put the purses away then start my laundry you guys want to watch I guess I'll show you I can tap back in maybe before we watch Miss America yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Ultra light, let it shine, shine. Make it blind, watch me shine, shine. Fly, nothing you could tell me. I ain't looking down, feeling so free. twisting an answer to the way you want to answer it. Twisting a question. Next up, Miss 
Okay, y'all. So the light is over. I am exhausted. I ordered my pho literally like an hour ago and it's taking forever to get here. I hope it gets here before midnight because, oh, I just got a Uber Eats. I really wanted to get pho and sushi. What I should have done is ordered it while I was in the middle of the live. Why did I have over like 3,000 people on my live stream? So I didn't even really get to talk and kiki like I wanted to because people weren't on there like to hang out with Breland, you know? They were on there because they wanted to see the stream. And I was still talking, but like not as much because the people just didn't know me, <laughs> you know? I was just trying to be careful. Um, and yeah, like there was one point where I was eating. By the way, these are my new favorite candies. My cousin had them when we went on the cruise. These are the Nerd Gummy Club. I shouldn't even tell y'all about these because literally she told, I ate some of hers when we were in, um, when we were on the cruise. And I literally put them in my Amazon cart. Now like I'm gonna buy them for when I go home. And then they went up to like $3. Like this bag was $3. Now granted, like I ate it over some time, but anyway. These are so good. So I ate these. I was eating these during the live stream. The people were like, who's this girl? Why do we have to watch this girl? Just some, there were some trolls. Understandably so, when you stream like, and I think the stream was down to on the website and a lot of people didn't know how to watch it because this year Miss America was on like watchmissamerica.com. So you didn't know that it was on unless you were watching, you know, Miss America. It would have been better if they had it like on their YouTube channel, but I don't know how like streaming and stuff goes. But anyway, congratulations to Madison, Miss Colorado, our new Miss America. Um, I did, I called it pretty like early on. I thought, I, I think that she, did an amazing job even like as a state title holder. I'm trying to wait for my food to get here. But now that I have updated you guys and talked to you, I think I'll take my makeup off and then hopefully by then my food will get here. I don't have to wake up too early for community service in the morning time, which is good. I also need to plan on when I'm taking these braids out because they can't last another day, child. Oh, child, I am tired. Oh, I didn't need to continue on my laundry, but I'm probably not gonna put like everything away until tomorrow, you know? We wash one day, we dry one day. It's literally like that meme that's going around on Instagram where it's like when your wash and dryer has done their part and now it's your turn. But guess what? It's still their turn, okay? <laughs> it's not my turn yet. Child, I have not opened this book in multiple days. Do y'all know, I'm, th this is how much I've read. Child. And yet, I'm about to watch Scandal. Ooh, good night. service that I mentioned basically helping out with a clothing drive I'm wearing this sweater again and tell me it doesn't look better with the longer hair I, I swear I think it just looks better happy Monday happy and okay day I'm not sure we're gonna be indoors but just in case I want to make sure I'm warm otherwise I'll get some clips on my phone I'll talk to you guys when I get there It's snowing, did I mention that? How cute. Anyway, that was super quick and easy. They were so well organized and there were a ton of people there. I didn't know that many people were gonna be there. So it didn't take long at all to package everything. And not only did we end up doing blankets, but it was also like a clothing drive as well as like a toiletries drive. So really excited about that. And now I'm about to go, I'm about to head to CVS right now. And I have to pick up a picture order that I've had literally waiting for like a week now because I want to put some pictures up in my apartment and then I need to eat because it's the first day of my fast and I haven't eaten yet but I have to like go home and like make a salad so ah, the joys of fasting good morning happy Tuesday it's the next day I've been kind of I don't know I don't even know what I did yesterday Edited the video, watched Scandal, 
it's the next day I just had a meeting with my boss and I've had a very like slow morning I kind of like woke up early smells like something is smoking why am I rambling probably because I'm tired I finally got in my Amazon fresh order so I'm gonna do a quick little grocery haul and show you guys everything that I got. Two things. One, I want to talk about how last year I was annoyed at myself. Even just when I think about it, every single day in like the three vlogs that I uploaded that for the three weeks that I was on the fast, I was like, because I'm fasting, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Y'all gonna see what I make and that's it. I'm not gonna talk about how I'm hungry the entire fast. That's literally like rude, disrespectful, and just quite frankly annoying. So that's one thing the second thing is that I'm also adding reading my physical devotional that I read with my church it has discipleship classes that has many layers called emotionally healthy spirituality day by day it's a 40-day journey with the daily office it's written by Peter Zazario I actually really like this devotional I feel like I've talked about it before the thing about it is that you do a devotional in the morning time and then also in the afternoon so I want to just go ahead and finish off this book so I'm starting back at like week five and I'll do week five six or maybe I should just start at six week six seven eight that's what I'm gonna do there's like eight weeks in total for this so I think I'm gonna start at week six so yeah I'm basically gonna do two devotionals a day during the weekdays during my 21 day fast also I think I previously said that my fast was 14 days because at first it was but my church changed it back to 21 days so this is my huge grocery haul I'm sure I'll have to get more things because it's a lot of fresh foods but just wanted to fill up my refrigerator with things that I can actually eat during this fast and those things are lemon some frozen broccoli oh these look perfect yay asparagus some bell peppers two orders of these there's the stoplight bell peppers and these are the rainbow bell peppers also got some avocados i got some cilantro i got some rice cakes i think i'm gonna do avocado toast on these i'm like so hungry though i'm about to eat one right now let me check the ingredients okay whole grain brown rice salt okay perfect you gave me things Mm. these things are not bad i got two of them <laughs> why is it so good these right here it's giving dorito chips like these taste so good right now i was saying that i'm going to try and snack more in between because these moves are so light they honestly just don't fill me up anyway these are my saving grace last year brown rice just put them in the microwave one minute and you're good to go so I got a lot of them just to make sure they don't sell out because the other one that I like that was in the bag I think from Ben's rice they were sold out so okay I kind of OD but low-key I eat rice really the only thing that I can eat even if you're doing a salad putting a rice in it doing a rice pilaf like yeah basically use these for everything so this should maybe last me for about half my fast two four six eight ten yeah I got spinach. I'm about to say, no, it's not one. Then we got two of those. Broccoli. Oh, I got some celery sticks. I got them already pre cut. I could have cut them myself, but Amazon Fresh kind of makes it easy for you. So why not? I'll add that to my snack list. I also got a cucumber, lime for when I make my chipotle bowls from home. A whole bunch of bananas. This is the healthiest haul you have ever seen me do. You guys, here she is. The OG Quaker Oats. <sighs> the no flavoring. We are going to try and make her taste good. I got this can of Mexican style. It's like corn and green and red bell peppers. I thought this would again be really good for when I make my Chipotle bowl from home. Some garlic, onions. My mom used to have this and I wasn't sure if I liked this or not, but I got it. It's the McCormick's Perfect Pinch Salad Supreme Seasoning. So just seasoning that you can put on your salad to make it taste good. I think my sister uses that as well. I also got a vegetable broth. I was thinking about maybe making a soup like a vegetable soup I don't know we'll see <laughs> green beans diced red onions shredded lettuce oh my gosh this thing is huge <laughs> this thing of pineapples okay pineapples mushrooms Ooh, I always feel so icky cooking mushrooms myself I like mushrooms but cooking them I do get a little bit weird about cooking them 
Oh, I got some guacamole. Last but not least, I got this La Mexicana mild salsa. Now be nice to me, okay? If there's something that I got that isn't technically, you know, whatever, just, it's about the heart, okay? Remember, I'm not doing this to be a super strict diet. I'm doing it to draw closer to God for these next couple of weeks. And as long as my heart posture is in the right place, that's all that matters. Let me know your favorite Daniel's Fast recipes in the comments down below and pray for me an easy fast. Okay, now let's talk Factor. If you guys wanna try out Factor, I will have a link in my description box down below. I think you get like your first box free or something like that if you wanna try it out. The reason why you guys know I usually have Factors anyway every week, but like I mentioned in a previous vlog, I also saw that they have some vegan options which were good for the fat. Two meals were the green curry and tofu. I've never had tofu in my life, child. Looks like that. I got two of those. And then the other meal is peanut Buddha bowl. Peanut butter bowl, peanut Buddha bowl. It's hard to see when they're like this, but I got two of those as well. Also, I talked to you guys about their smoothies. So I got two of these single tropical fruit smoothies. Ooh, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. A new blender isn't here yet, so in the meantime, I can try these out for breakfast sometime. These are not smoothies, these are cold pressed juices. Colors scare me. This is the carrot, orange, and ginger cold pressed juice. Ooh, this is pineapple, turmeric, and basil. That kind of looks good, refreshing. Ooh, I don't know, turmeric? Ooh, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, look at this one. Apple, beet, ginger. And this is like big, like I'm used to juices being maybe like a shot. Oh, okay, and then apple, kale, and wheatgrass. That doesn't look good. I'll let you guys know which of these I enjoy. This package was also supposed to have my smoothie variety pack in here, but it's not in here, so I have to see where that's at. See, it's one o'clock. My next meeting is not until 2.30. I'll put all of this away. I'm gonna eat, and then we'll talk later. I do have some things to unbox and show you guys. I told y'all about how I was supposed to go to the March of Dimes headquarters today to have my meeting with the CEO, president, and some other people on the team. But unfortunately, because of the snow, they changed my meeting to being virtual. You guys see, I literally put a blazer on <laughs> to make this little sweat set a little bit more professional. I was gonna wear a cute little purple dress. I was gonna get content, like I was so excited about it. And I just feel like whenever meetings are virtual, I just overthink them and I get like not necessarily anxious, but I just really like dread meetings. Even though I was with my boss earlier, like it doesn't matter if I'm the one who's hosting the meeting or if somebody else is, I just like be dreading the meetings. Like I just don't want to do them, even though it's like, I want to do the meeting. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it makes sense. It's like, I don't know how to describe it because I wouldn't even say that I'm nervous. I'm just like, I guess I have a lot of anticipation. The meeting starts in like three minutes, so I'm about to log on. You guys know how it went afterwards. Wish me luck. <sighs> okay, the meeting went great. As per usual, like I don't know why I be getting so like, I don't know, I don't know why I do that, but Okay, meeting went great. I'm really, really excited about some of the things that I'll be able to do with Marsha Dimes moving forward. Like, and it's really great because Marsha Dimes not only helps me with my own personal like convictions and passions as a maternal health advocate, but also with my platform as a Miss DC competitor. This whole vlog we were talking about, you know, pageantry. And so I'm really excited for what that can do with my platform. But then like the fact that they are like super excited to work with me because of the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation is really exciting. But also let me just say that I was able to get this meeting because of the work. All three of the people who were in that meeting who were higher level up in the organization, I have met with them all each individually multiple times like before this time so for me to be able like, to get a meeting with the president and ceo of like this national organization is like really amazing and i'm really proud of myself and i'm excited for all the things that are to come alexa pause good morning happy wednesday getting ready to go to the gym i've been tired not too tired to get up but 
I guess so. So today we're going, I just finished eating my breakfast, which I had fruit, bananas, pineapples, grapes. So hopefully that gives me enough energy during this workout. I've definitely been a little bit afraid to work out without pre-workout. That may sound really, really sad, but pre-workout is a really great motivator for me. You know, once you put the pre-workout in, you're like, okay, I gotta go work out now. But yes, happy Wednesday. On Wednesday, we wear pink. I don't think I've taken you guys along with me to work out in this vlog. Ooh, waist trainer felt a little tight today. You know what that means. My hands have been so dry, and this little crack right here, every time I look up, you're like, what? Because I know I put lotion, at least on my face, I guess I ain't put on my hands. But no, you are not going to embarrass me with that little crack, dry skin right there. How embarrassing. Y'all, why am I so nervous to work out without any pre- It's like, it's not just the fact that I don't have any pre-workout, it's also the fact that I'm not eating much protein. Oh gosh, am I gonna be lightheaded? Am I gonna be able to get through this workout? In an unrelated topic, or kind of like not related to the fast, I was telling one of the ministers at my church about how, you know, I just really wanted to work through my caffeine dependency, because I just didn't like how dependent I was, and like how my whole personality was connected to it. Like, if I go to church and I don't drink caffeine, which I don't need caffeine for a Sunday, right? Like, I go to church, I go grocery shopping, I mean, you know, do some laundry, clean up, cook dinner. Like, yes, it's a full day to do a Sunday reset, and yes, I'll be more productive if I have caffeine, but I can get through the day without caffeine. So sometimes I'll do tea, sometimes I may do coffee, but like, I definitely won't do a Celsius on a Sunday. Like, that's giving crackhead energy. Um, but even the days where I was like, let me not do coffee, people were kind of like are you okay are you okay? like that's the main thing people are always like are you okay and I'm like yes <laughs> I'm fine I guess I'm just not as peppy because I don't have any caffeine in me and I don't try and make it a big deal but it's just interesting that other people notice it too and when I was talking to her I was kind of just like I wish I wasn't so dependent like I wish I could be my peppy self without caffeine and she was like girl ask the Lord ask the Lord to you know be your energy to be your whatever so I'll be like Lord be my Celsius <laughs> That's my prayer today. Call it what you will. Listen, you gotta lean on him. Call on him for what you want. I'm like, listen, Lord, be my Celsius, be my motivation, be my energy, be my strength. Now watch me about to kill this workout. If I wrote you a symphony just to say how much you mean to me. If I told you you were beautiful, would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world, but I ain't seen myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart, but there's just one thing I need from you. Say I do. Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away. And another woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. And another woman that can take your spot, my love As soon as I started stretching, the girl got off of the Stairmaster, so I was able to get on. Bad news, now I'm eating this oatmeal, and I never cook my oatmeal on the stove. I completely forgot that you were even supposed to do that. Kind of even like cup of noodles, or like oodles and noodles, like I cook everything in the microwave. I'm a microwave girl. <laughs> anyway, I showed you guys about how I got the regular just oats. Oats, oh my gosh. Excuse me, no sugar. No butter? Comment down below, what do you add? 
to your oatmeal because this, not the porridge, not the porridge. Oh my gosh, I can't eat this. Somebody told me peanut butter. Oh my gosh, that is so bad. It's even like the texture, like maybe I should have cooked it longer. Okay, that made the taste better. I can't do this. This is like torture. Okay y'all, taking a quick work break to finally unbox these packages for you guys. I think I told you that yesterday, or no, it was Monday when I left the community service, I stopped by CVS to get me the portraits that I printed out. I'm stuttering so bad today. You guys know how I have these picture frames right here. I had the small one and then I had a big one here. And then when I got my third degree, I tried to buy another one, but it sold out. So I ended up buying these two together. Um, they came in a two pack. Those are a little bit different than this one, which I now have. And I decided that I'm gonna put it on this wall over here. I finally got this picture printed to go in there. Oh, it looks a little, wait a minute. <laughs> Can y'all see it? It's a picture of me and my family during my graduation. Child, I look light-skinned in this picture. Ugh. Let's put it in here and see how it's gonna look. All right, grand reveal. Aw, cute. Okay, let's hang her up. Now I'm just gonna do a quick little haul. I haven't been going too crazy, but I will say that it was a class action suit against Boohoo, and I ended up getting a gift card. So I purchased some things. First thing though that I got is not from Boohoo. This is actually Holly Hardwood. We got a Miss America pin. Oh wow, this one is gold. I thought this was gonna be silver, but this one is gold. I low-key don't mind it because I wear gold all the time but I definitely wanted a silver one. Sometimes wearing the crown and the sash is too much. Like for example, when I was going to go to the March of Dimes headquarters office, I was gonna be there as Breland Hunt, the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation fellow, but it's kind of just like a nod to my title holder position. Oh look, bring back the magic, I miss America. Here we are again with another boohoo haul. First item here, oh, these are actually the matching pants to the blazer that I got. I think I wore this last week or was it in this vlog? When I went to the office, I wore the jacket. I love the way the jacket fits so much. I was like, you know, I really need to see if the pants came back in stock and they are. So I got these in a US size six. It's a really nice slinky bodysuit. You guys know I live in black bodysuits as we've seen. I think it was in this vlog. Yeah, I wear these a lot and I don't have a short sleeve one that's like the slinky material. So I got one. Next item is in my favorite color. You guys know I'm obsessed with this color during this time of the year. So I got this really cute top. It kind of like goes off the shoulder like this. It's ruching. This a really nice top that I can see myself wearing and of course pairing with like my green Kirk bag or whatever oh I got a black midi leather skirt I realized that sometimes I do want to wear a leather skirt but the only one that I have is like really short and it just gives you know going out sometimes it's not like going out vibes I don't want to give going out vibes but I do want leather bottoms so I got this midi skirt and it does have a slit in the back next item here Oh, this is really, really cute. One shoulder pink top. It's actually a bodysuit. I actually thought this would look really good for headshots. So I just got it again because it was on sale. It, like has a bow on the side. You just never know when you need a nice top or like even if you're doing something on Zoom and you want to look cute or you know, of course you can wear this out. I don't know. This just gave me 
I should probably have this top in my collection because I'll probably wear it. I really am selective with my pink. I don't buy it unless I know I'm gonna wear it and we know I always wear it. This is my second favorite color for this season. I've been wearing the other bodysuit that I have a lot so I decided to get again that same type of slinky, slinky, really stretchy maroon bodysuit and short sleeve. Last thing that I got is a blazer. Again, I really liked Boohoo's blazers. This one is in that beautiful blue. It gives me Spelman blue vibes. The sleeves are long. Oh, I'm really curious. I do have a pair of pants that are this blue color. I'm curious if they match. Let's see if they're the same color because that would be really, really nice. Ooh, I think that's a pretty good match. It's like a little bit off. But I think it would look really good together. I also got this other blazer from Boohoo, if you guys remember last time, which I have worn. I don't know why the tag is still on it. I have worn it. And this also looks good with these pants. I know you guys are thinking I don't need two blue blazers, but this one is tweed and this one is not. Okay, so that's the difference. And I really like the way that the Boohoo blazers fit. I just feel like they snatch you in at the waist. The next thing that I need is a Spelman pin. That way when I wear stuff like this, I can have a Spelman pin on and it's also so a nod to my institution. That's also something that I've been wanting. I'm probably gonna have to go on Etsy for it though. Last thing that I got from Amazon, but actually from Jessica Simpson, cause y'all know Jessica has been my girl. I actually got these exact pair of shoes in a previous haul and I decided to get them in black because I really like what they fit and they're really comfortable. They look like this. They look like this. First of all, they come in a size 11. I love how they have the padding inside, so they're really comfortable. I like how they are closed toed and a pointy toe, how they have like this detail on the straps here, and then also how it's a thick heel. So I do have a pair of like low, I think they're Steve Madden, and they're just like your basic shoes, which are cute, really nice, great staples, but I realized I don't have any other pair of like closed toed black shoes, and I wear those like week after week after week. And they're kind of like so simple that they take away the style of just about every outfit <laughs> because they're just like so basic so I wanted to get these and I feel like I would wear them a lot I'm sure you guys will see these shoes in action eventually but I feel like this one has been pretty long so I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe to my channel ring the bell the way you don't miss a notification for me subscribing is free um, like this video Leave a comment down below. Follow me on my social media at Breland.Hunt. And live each day to the fullest because you only live once. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Fun.